Tori Porato Pito. Yes, there we are. Triplet beat. And um, yeah, it's been a while since I've opened the Japanese uh, products like this. The last was Scarlet and Violet, which was already a couple of months ago, wasn't it? But uh, here we go. Also, they've uh, reverted back to the the re regular non test strip box design. I don't know what happened and uh, what is going on. Um, but yeah, hopefully they are remembering the test strip design because it's not that difficult to bypass that test strip, honestly. And uh, let's just start. But um, yeah, we all know this set is all about Dendra. And um, yeah, I think this set has more to offer than Dendra, to be to be really honest. I do think for a um, first enhanced expansion pack, it is quite nice, honestly. And a first hit. Lycan Rock EX by Kawaiyo. It's an amazing card. Art, really nice, and that is Danura. It's been a while since I used this play mat, mainly because I don't want to scratch the hollow surface up. But this from uh, this play mat's from the limited master Sun and Moon limited master belt collection or set, which included Alola friends. So. Nothing here. It's the new Paldean Tauros. But the, the English variant, Paldea Evolved. I think it's going to be quite nice. Especially since uh, Clayburst and Snow Hazard are probably going to be, at the pr pretty much confirmed, going to be into the set. A nice summer up ahead. Oh, nice. And Garados by Yuya Oka. That's a very nice Garados art. I have to say. But coming back to the discussion, yeah, we have a nice summer up ahead. Especially in Japan. With the Pokemon card 151 set. I think it's going to be absolutely crazy. But uh, yeah, we will see. <laughs> We got a Paldean Clotsire EX and I was a little bit scared because I thought it was a box hit when I looked this way <laughs> but it's just a dark type Pokemon I have to say I, I like Wooper and such uh, not my favorite Pokemon from the game and I really can't wait to see Surulatch To have its EX. And what was the other version? You know, you know the, the Chaka Death and uh, the two evolutions. Really think those two cards, uh, two Pokemon are pretty. Oh, there's a very nice Terra type EX and the DNA EX Terra type. That's a very nice card. Nice pool. I do think Terra type EX are nice. Uh, what I do miss is some special arts or whatever. And I do think that is something they are probably going to explore. And what's it called again? That, that, that shiny set trademark. I, I really forgot, but that's a, apparently. Uh, a set trademarked, or, or likely a set name trademarked, that just highly indicates a, a special set, a shiny set coming. It's a Hydreigon. And uh, yeah, similar with V-Star cards, I think they are going to give, or, or at least shiny or special art cards like this for the Terra Type EX. Would be really awesome. But uh, yeah, that's. Uh, that will take a while. We are still uh, in uh, spring. 
Hey, that's a Tinka Ton, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I'm, I'm playing the game. I'm playing the games. Not too deep in the, into the Scarlet and Violet video game. But I'm starting to name some Pokemon at least. Which I am happy about. Okay, this uh, is like uh, pack 6 or something. Got a Scaladurge. Scaladurge EX. Not bad. But like, like I said, for a first enhanced expansion pack with starters in there, I, I think it's a really nice set. And it will age very nicely. Even without the Dendra, it was it was still have been a nice set. Well, let's see what is in this pack, Mr. Trump. But uh, yeah. I wonder if I can get my hands on uh, Clay Burst and Snow Hazard. But yeah, really not uh, not in a great time now. <laughs> this uh, Japanese Pokemon card market in terms of availability outside of Japan. Because it's not impossible to get products. But it's just, yeah. Uh, n not uh, not in the best position right now. This one is right, really nice. This one has a uh, attack. I think what was it called wing attack or something like that. Wing march, similar to night march, and does twenty w w with each. I think uh, similar attack names and uh, clay burst snow hazard. You will get some Pokemon that share this attack name. So nice, uh, cool archetype upcoming. And this is low kicks. I yeah, low kicks. Cause in my team, I do like this Pokemon. But uh, yeah, what do I need to talk about more? Yeah, this is probably going to be my last uh, <laughs> box as well. Not going to uh, pursue uh, my luck with uh, this set. If we really want to talk about Dendra, that the launch price was absolutely hilarious. I think it was like uh, 80, 19 or 100,000 yen during its launch pre-release. Pre and then at release it was pushed to 130,000 yen by certain stores. And now it's like 60,000 yen, 70,000 yen. That's it, it dropped more than half <laughs> or nearly in half. It's just crazy that, that the market can be so there's so much difference in, 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 in pricing. And for certain cards I can understand. And of course you know that Dendra SAR is the main big card. Oh, that's very nice. Uh, Podion Taurus by Akira Egawa. However, I, th I do think any card above 100,000 yen at release is just, is just crazy. And to be fair, Pokemon is literally playing catch up. Other card games have been doing this kind of higher prices for years now it's nothing new however i do think 1000 yen for this card is just absolutely crazy especially since it's pokemon as well it's not like it's a uh, small print quantity but uh, yeah and similar uh, thing happened with paradigm trigger and all uh, Miriam as well. Miriam but is holding its value quite nice, to be honest. I think it's still like 100,000 uh, yen, which is still insane in my opinion. 
But hey, if you need it, you know, hey, I, ca I can't blame you. But in the end, do you really need it for your collection? Because, yeah, at some point you have to make, uh, you have to think about your collection. And, oh, that's a, a very nice card by Shinji Kanda. I think this is like a 1300 or 2000 yen card for an art rare, which again, find quite hilarious but hey i can't blame uh, you know people want to pay that kind of price because it's absolutely gorgeous there's a gyarados here in the background it's in the waterfalls here where some gyarados magic up are jumping on which is quite nice the best ar card to pull in my opinion from the set even though there are many, many other stunning AR cards. And they, st they tell the story as well. With uh, some of the first partner Paldea Pokemon. I thought we have uh, hit something, but it's just a bad cut card. Oh, oh, we did pull something. So, but not light part. Pyroar, yes. Again, very nice card by new artist, by the way, by uh, Paul Suzuki, which I didn't find on Twitter yet. So a little bit of a anonymous online presence. And what I do always wonder, so how is Pokemon finding these kind of artists? For the social media period you know i could understand but i find it truly amazing how pokemon is sourcing these artists oh there's a nice artist as well and not nice artware by the way this is the pre-evolution of Mio Scarada. i don't know its name for now but uh yeah it, it has a real nice story with uh, the art artware of um what's this called again i have no idea anymore i forgot It matches all the, the super special artware and the other artware of um, the pre-evolution, which is quite nice. So, like I said, even if you don't pull Dendra, it's, you still get nice artwork, in my opinion. Um, do I f agree paying more than uh, MSRP on this product? No. Because, like I said, you know paying so much money for for a box you aren't guaranteed anything with it's just crazy you know of course the, you, there are chase cards yeah it's, you, you get cards like these <laughs> which are you know worth next to nothing um yeah not not terribly happy but hey it's not dendra but hey i'll i'll still take it because again, like I said, I'm, I'm not I'm not angry or upset. It's just um, yeah, I got it for a retail price, so I don't care as much. Spricatito was the name. <laughs> we could still hit a double hit box. I know some people did. It's not a big challenge, but hey. I like to have chances whenever possible. And let's just have fun, don't we? We are almost 50 minutes in. Taking it uh, slowly. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Coming back to the whole discussion. I'm just tired of it the whole market and people um, being upset you don't have to be upset honestly because at the, at this point you, you cannot control everything your life has to go on and uh, yeah I, I can sometimes you have to accept 
that some things are just beyond your own control. And what's more valuable is the lesson you are learning from this situation. And the next time you know wh wh what is going on next time. And this is not the first time something like this is probably happening. And at this stage, it will probably happen many times in the future. But like I said, Pokemon card game is playing catch up, honestly. Just be prepared that this will be the new standard for chase cards. Unless it's set like Vista Universe, which guarantees you almost always a, a box set. Like special art cards. But uh, yeah, I'm just uh, tired of all of it. Just trying to ignore everything. Like I said, you know, just, just more to opening packs and wanting all the newest products. This is a, a card game that's 25 years old. Why, uh, you know, being upset of the Pokemon card game? You know, it has 25 years of history. That one year. I think there's more to it than modern sets. Personally. And at this stage we just have to accept that a lot of people, the newer generation, you know, they don't care about gold stars and, and shinings and all those nice beautiful cards. Some people just haven't grown grew up with that, those kind of cards. And they prefer just new cards. That's it. And I can I can absolutely understand that. And some of these people are already used to paying high prices on other card games like Wise and, and everything else. Sec third to last pack. second to last pack and then uh, we are all done with triplet beat so far i have to say i am uh, except for the sr pool i'm quite happy got some nice ar cards would i pay f f over fifteen thousand yen for a box no and we got a um what was this what was this quack of all yeah But I can I, I I wouldn't pay so much money for a box like this. Last pack. We wouldn't pull a Dendra, right? I think at best a holo card. Like I said, a holo card. Yeah, I think, um, again, it's been a nice set, nice box opening, EX cards here, the Terra type EX, this is very nice. The only thing I miss about, and uh, you know, why I dislike these EX cards, the, the, the V cards are just, f and GX are much better with the full art artwork can see slightly here background the full body but it's just not the same but, uh, again very nice and uh, we have the, the super rare box set texturing is not bad and then the AR cards which you get three per box off guaranteed not bad at all if you enjoyed this video leave a like comment and subscribe even. Have a nice day everyone. Goodbye.